don't know if I can afford it, but I like it. Hey everyone, Solarpunk Steve here. Today I'm out with my friend Trevor who runs his own electric lawn care company called Green Cells Electric Lawn Care. He brought out some Greenworks demo equipment for us to try out and we're gonna kinda compare it to my Ego lawn equipment and run it on the vacant properties that I service so that we don't tear anyone uh, anyone's property up. All right, so what do we got here? Greenworks Optimus Z 36 inch stander mower. You're gonna get about five hours of cut time up to seven acres per day. To be honest, I've never used one of these uh, stand on mowers, gas or electric. So this is new for me. We've got these two joysticks that are similar to a zero turn. Right here is our speed, it's a little touch screen. Right so now we're on the highest speed, and then low speed. Okay. But full speed, you're gonna get about 11 miles per hour. And then this adjusts your blade speed. Correct? That's our blade speed. Maybe throw on the blades, take it for a little spin in front of me so I can hear how it sounds. I'm gonna give the green works a go. Trevor's gonna make me look really, really good. Don't hit the stump, right? That's right, don't hit the stump. I think I tore up some grass there. A little bit. Something about the handles here, there's a lot of like spring pressure. And it feels weird trying to like go from forwards to then going backwards again. I'm sure you guys are yelling at me watching your screen right now. I'm like, you don't know how to drive. Yeah, I've never driven it before. We're gonna set up my lawnmower to be on two and a third. There are no fourths on the Ego, but we're gonna do two and a third on here, two and a half on that one. Uh, we're gonna mow on like the lowest blade speed in some of this thicker stuff and just see how they both compare. And then we'll keep the mower speed itself at maybe two. See what happens. So it actually cut okay, except for this tough, I forget what this is called, but these flowers here. They're native to Florida. These are kind of thick and tough, but it clearly did not cut through them very well. Everything else, it did okay. All right, so he's at slowest blade speed, two and a half inches of cut height, and he's gonna go out of medium speed through the grass here. Let's see what happens. These two strips are from the Ego. These two from the Greenworks. You still have one or two of these coming up, but it actually cut a lot better. Yeah, that guy was left, but everything else is pretty close to flush. Let's go the fastest blade speed that this mower can do compared to the fastest blade speed on my Ego. I would say at that higher blade speed, it looks a lot better. Of course, it's what you would expect. Blade speed's on high. That looks pretty good. This little thing got left. Well, even with both of them, it's not quite perfect. Time for a little bit of a race. We're gonna go highest mower speed and highest blade speed. We're gonna run all the way down there to the sidewalk. Ready, set, go. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. What do you think? This is a little bit, uh, when you start to go, a little bit of a tricky start. We'll give you one more opportunity. Go. All right, Ego wins again on speed. This is kind of interesting. This frame member sticks out quite a bit further than this one. 
And we believe that's because you can attach a uh, power takeoff system, like a blower you can attach on here and blow to the side. And there's the plug right there, which that's pretty neat. I like that. Ego doesn't have anything like that on their mower, at least not right now. What's the cost of this one? 13,000. Okay, so 13 grand for this. The Ego that I have retails for 5,500, but it only comes with four out of the six batteries. So if you get an extra set of batteries, it costs basically 6,500. So half the cost of this one. I would probably say <laughs> this one's twice the weight. This thing is beefy. So much steel work on this. Mine, you know, stamped steel deck, lots of plastic on it, you know, bent stamped pieces all welded together. So it's not nearly as beefy as this thing. But again, half the price. say I understand why people like being up high because you can see down a lot better like I can easily spot the root that's over there compared to on mine I'm much lower it would definitely take some getting used to but I do like it I would be interested in maybe maybe getting something like this what do you think Trevor how do you like the ego I like it it's nimble it's quick speaking of which on all these pine needles you can get it to slide if you want to try it definitely was sliding it felt like Mario Kart but real life give us a demonstration We got all this and all that mode. Both kind of just screwing around, having fun, but also trying out each mower. We started with 91% and now we're at 69. Nice. And that one from 100% to 33. You can definitely tell the battery size difference in these two. One other thing we were talking about with this one, the Greenworks would be eligible for the US federal tax credit, which we think would be somewhere maybe around three grand probably get three grand back on this which brings it down to about 10 and at that price i feel like this is a better value long term than the ego that's just my opinion though even though it can't keep up with the ego in speed wise <laughs> so i've got my backpack ego 800 cfm blower and he's got the greenworks version so we're going to kind of compare these very interesting um battery placement system Here's your batteries. Trevor's gonna give my blower a shot. Feels uh, pretty good. I like the hummer bun. I like the support where it's as you go to full power, it doesn't torque and want to twist on you because it's held in place. It's not too heavy either. All right, what do you think compared to the Ego one? So it's definitely got some more power. Uh, I was able to blow those pine straw needles over that edge of the asphalt to the grass there. It's more intuitive as far as its adjustments for speed. From what it looks like from my perspective, this has more power than the Ego, even, even with the Ego on turbo. Mm -hmm. Standing next to it, this, the Greenworks is much noisier than the Eco. Right. Like this is really high pitched, I found. Any other thoughts about it? Pads up top on the shoulders are a little more comfortable, but it does not have that cummerbund. Or yeah, that waist nothing, strap. nothing to strap the waist. And if you watch when I go to full power, you'll actually see it torque and lift off my back. I've got to force it forward, so I'm actually putting strain on my arm through that process. But it's it's much lighter, it's much less strain, less vibration than a gas-powered every day.
Thanks so much to Trevor for letting me try out the Greenworks Optimus Z 36 inch mower. That was really interesting for me to try out. I had a great time. What do you think about trying out the different equipment? Yeah, it was a ton of fun. It was very informative seeing the comparison side by side. Definitely a little bruise that you go right there. Not quite as fast, but really impressed with the quality of both machines. Like Steve said, just the cost of entry. It's great, the advancements in technology and what we have coming out, it's really exciting to be in this field and having people to share this with. Well again, thanks Trevor, and I will see you on the next screen.